Toyota has discredited the findings of a Southern Illinois University professor who claimed that he could induce unintended acceleration in Toyota vehicles without leaving any trace. As revealed in their testimony before Congress, Professor David Gilbert's preliminary report was commissioned by Sean Kane, a paid advocate for trial lawyers involved in litigation against Toyota and other automakers. Comprehensive analysis conducted by Toyota and Exponent, one of the country's leading engineering and scientific firms, found that Professor David Gilbert manipulated the vehicle's electronics and intentionally created two new circuits in ways that are virtually impossible in the real world. Therefore, experts say the professor's claims, first reported on ABC News and while testifying at a congressional hearing, were inaccurate. Any electronics, any circuit can be re-engineered. I can create a circuit externally, uh, rewire an existing circuitry, bring them together, and have them perform what it is that I designed this external circuit to do. In this case, We've tested other manufacturers' vehicles and re-engineered them and rewired them in a similar manner to Dr. Gilbert's demonstration, and we got comparable results, as you'll see. These demonstrations in no way indicate any defect with any of the vehicles tested, be they Toyota or non-Toyota vehicles. An independent review by a mechanical engineering professor and director of the Center for Automotive Research at Stanford also concluded Gilbert's report provides no evidence of any real-world circuit malfunction that the Toyota system cannot detect. The report contains absolutely no discussion of a link between the circuit tested and situations that might actually occur in a car. The material necessary to draw the conclusions reached is simply missing. This report has been described in Congress and the media as demonstrating that there are holes in the Toyota system, a flaw in the design, and that the system is not foolproof. The material in this report does not demonstrate any of those things. We do not believe electronics are at the root of this issue. Please make no mistake. We have uh, found no evidence, and engineers are trained to look for evidence. And we have found no sign that electronics have anything to do with unintended acceleration. You have seen the modifications created by Dr. Gilbert on a Toyota can be made on a number of other vehicles with similar results. And as we have emphasized, and let me emphasize again, there is absolutely no suggestion of a defect in any of these vehicles. Exponents testing has proven that Gilbert's demonstrations, as commissioned by Sean Kane and reported by ABC News, have misled the public and congressional committees. Now lately we've seen an awful lot of theories regarding unintended acceleration. Speculation is easy, science takes a lot more effort. As Dr. Gerdes mentioned, electronic controls are sophisticated and carefully designed. Their demonstrated benefits are numerous. And Toyota systems are well engineered and tested under extreme conditions. Now this issue is important and complex, and I urge you to take time to understand how they work and why we at Toyota are confident in their safety and reliability. To view a webcast of the entire event and find more information, go to toyota.com.